Some 1.5 metres Scottish votes were wasted in the general election because they had no impact on the result, a new study claims. The Electoral Reform Society, ERS, found 53.7% of votes did not go towards electing an MP under Westminster's first-past-the-post, FPTP, system. It has launched a petition to scrap the electoral system saying it remains unfair and does not produce a parliament that is representative of the people. It says it is time there was a proportional system for Westminster elections, similar to the one used at Holyrood. Boris Johnson swept a power based on a 1% increase in the popular vote compared to when Theresa May fought the 2017 election. That 1% produced 47 more MPs for the Conservatives in Thursday's vote. The result was described by the ERS as warped and gave the Conservative Party an 80-seat majority under the UK's FPTP system of electing MPs. The Liberal Democrats, gained 4% on 2017, but actually lost a seat. Labour's vote fell by 7.9% while their share of seats fell by slightly more than that at 9.2%. And the SNP had 7.4% of seats on 3.9% of the UK vote. FPTP is widely criticised for producing levels of representation that are highly disproportionate, leaving the majority of society unhappy with the outcome of the election. Under FPTP, voters opt for one of the candidates listed on the ballot paper and the person with the most votes wins. All other votes are disregarded. Complaints about Parliament being unrepresentative of the people surfaced frequently during the long-running debates on how, if or when Britain should exit the EU. According to ERS, who want a fairer proportional representation method of electing MPs, it took on average just 25,882 votes to elect each SNP MP but 864,743 votes to elect the lone Green MP. While it took 38,300 votes to elect each Tory MP, each Liberal Democrat required 334,122 votes, and each Labour MP 50, 817 votes. Darren Hughes, chief executive of the Electoral Reform Society, said, when millions of voters are totally unrepresented, something has gone badly wrong. These warped results are hardwired into Westminster's winner-takes-all voting system. It's a stark reality that the majority of people did not vote for their MP. Westminster's electoral system is not just bust, it is bankrupt. First past the post politics has driven a coach and horses through attempts at dialogue, compromise and cooperation. We can't go on like this. It's time for Westminster to catch up with most developed democracies and back a genuinely fair democratic politics, where seats match votes and all voters are heard. First past the post is forcing people to hold their nose every election. It is reducing choice through backdoor party pacts. And it is leaving voters alienated and excluded, while warping our national debate. We urge for more on this story, visit the news article link.